getting into Olue. Olue is one of the craft villages in the Asante region and is noted for the famous Kente cloth. Now the Kente cloth is Ghana's most expensive cloth and each cloth has its name. Now the older the cloth, the expensive it is. The one who wears the cloth, the expensive it is. So therefore, we have three types of kente. We have the single weave, we have the double weave, and then we have the triple weave. The more intricate the style, the more expensive it is. It is believed that there are two towns in Ghana that fight for its origination. So if you're a politician, don't meddle in that because you're for the case you don't. So we have two villages in Ghana, or two towns in Ghana, Bonjoy in Ashanti region and Petwa in the Volta region. Both of them claim origination of this cloth. But all that I know is that they are purely made in Ghana cloth. And wherever you see the Kente design or the Kente cloth, wherever in the world, it comes from Ghana, West Africa, and nowhere else. Whatever you see, the factory one, now we are having the factory one, which the textile companies are producing, they are like this one. And they all, like I said, in Ghana, everything has a meaning, a symbol. So all the cloth have their names. So especially when you wear this, those who are well versed in the cloth will know what type of cloth you are wearing. So we have Obama cloth that we go when Obama came to Ghana, the commission and the design, a special one for him. So we have the Obama one there. And then now when the or the chief is wearing this type of star. And at the Deba, you have to go home and change. You don't wear the same star with the chief. And the weaving of the Kente is from generation to generation. That is transferred. Formerly, women are not allowed to weave, but now they do. Now, the other point is that we have the Southern Kinti and we have the Northern Kinti. We have the people of the South who do the colorful ones and then we have the people of the North who do uh, also color, but they are not as colorful as the Southern one. And that is what they use for the Batakari, the big smoke. That is what they use, the Northern Kinti, that is what they use. So you are welcome to Bonjure. It is also believed that two brothers went into the forest to study the weaving of the spider's web. And when they came back, they begin to try and that's how come it comes. So they have an alami to it or they have a fox law to it that crow, crow, so they have a song to it to attest that they are the people who originated the cloth. So all the cloth, the shops here, they sell them, but they are all negotiable. It's not fixed price. You negotiate with the people. Now I am taking you to the Kente room where you see the weaving center, where you see them weaving, and then you can also buy them. In that place, I can help you negotiate. But when at the shops here, I cannot help negotiate. But in there, I can help because it's a giving and closure, and therefore I can move to one another and can see you people all. So when you call my attention there, I can do that for you. So you are all welcome to Bonre Ashanti region. Let's go and see how these people... Now, 